I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. Let me first thank you for watching my videos, posting excellent comments and suggestions. Some of my students are sharing their test papers and based on those test papers, we are posting new videos. You'll find many interesting videos on each and every topic in my playlist. In this video, we are going to share with you a test question based on point of inflection. The question here is, the point minus 1, 5 is a point of inflection on the graph of f of x equals to 2x cubed plus mx squared minus 3x plus n. Determine the value of m and n. You may pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can also send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Our students are right there on the top getting admission to the best universities. They have clear concepts. We discuss real good questions. Now, let's see how do we solve such a problem. So we are given two things. One, we are given a point which is minus 1 and 5, where there's a point of inflection on the graph of f of x, which is equal to 2x cubed plus mx squared minus 3x plus n. We need to find two things, which are m and n, right? So we need to find what is m equal to and what is n equal to. So from the two things, two unknowns, we can easily figure it out, correct? Point of flexion really means that the second derivative should be zero for the polynomial, right? So let's find the derivative of this function. So derivative of this function is equal to 6x squared plus 2mx minus 3. And the second derivative will be equal to 12x plus 2m, right? And this is equal to 0 at x equal to minus 5. We get the whole idea. So what we are trying to say is that the derivative at minus 1 is equal to 0, right? So substitute minus 1 for x. So we get 12 times minus 1 plus 2m. From here, we can find the value of m, right? So solving, we get 12 equals to 2m or 12 divided by 2 is m. And so we get 6 equals to m. So we got the first value. And to find the second one, what should you do? Well, clearly, we know the point, which is minus 1, 5. So I can substitute the value 1, right? So, so what is f of 1 equal to? f of 1 is minus 1, I mean, is 5, correct? So, let's substitute minus 1 here, which is 2 times minus 1 cube plus m, which we know is 6, right? We'll put it next time, right? So, minus 1 squared minus 3 times minus minus 1 plus n. So, so, we have got 5 equal to minus 2. m is 6. So, I am substituting the value of m as 6 now, right? So, what we get here is plus m, which is 6, right? And minus and minus becomes plus 3, plus n. So, we can take all these terms to the left-hand side. We get 5 plus 2 minus 6 minus 3 equals to n. And that gives me uh, 5 plus 2 is 7 and this is 9. So, minus 2 is the value of n, right? So, we get the value of m as 6 and n equals to minus 2 in the given function. Is that clear to you? So, that is uh, how you need to answer this particular question. 
Remember, when you're given a point, then put the value of x in the function itself, equating y f of x as 5. And second equation comes directly from the second derivative, since we are given the point of inflection. So I hope that is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and suggestions. Look into this playlist for some other wonderful videos on derivatives and their applications. Thank you and all the best. A request from Anil Kumar. We need your support for quality education worldwide. Anyone, anytime can support us. Every dollar counts. Please contact on the email globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Thanks. Have a great day.